Coming to you from Studios 1162, Vantage Point starts right now. Hey, Eagle Nation. Welcome to Vantage Point. Where we see you. I'm Anson Chin. And I'm Silas Rainey. Here's the latest news. The nation's top infectious disease experts predict face masks may become seasonal when respiratory illnesses are more prevalent. White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci said he thinks people have gotten used to wearing face coverings. He added that he believes it's time to start relaxing indoor mask requirements. Current guidance from the CDC says fully vaccinated people can exercise and hold small gatherings outdoors without a mask, although the agency still recommends fully vaccinated individuals wear a mask when in crowded areas. The free online summer school credit retrieval program is now accepting applications for students. Students currently in grades nine through 12 who failed classes in language arts, math, or social studies can now earn up to a single credit per class online towards graduation. Preferences will be given to juniors and seniors. Remote classes begin July 6th and end July 30th. Contact your counselor to complete your application and visit the school's website for more information. Sports season two is in full swing and the Department of Health is easing some of its restrictions. Home teams are now able to host fans. Metro League has approved that home teams can have two guests per player at home events only. No visiting fans are allowed. Athletes must provide the names to their coach 48 hours before the contest. The rule is strictly enforced. As the number of people getting vaccinated continues to drop, seniors in Sam Crystal's 12th grade humanities class fought hard to make vaccinations more accessible to the South and residents. They won the fight. Cleveland will hold a vaccination clinic in the coming weeks. We sat down with some of the organizers to find out how they made it happen. We kind of decided on doing this project because we were noticing that a lot of the people in our Cleveland community were like having to travel really long distances to get a vaccine. And we were noticing like people from West Seattle were coming down to sites here. And so it was causing just a lot of like, it was making it a lot harder to get the vaccine than it really should be. So we decided to try and make a vaccine site close to us that would be accessible to lots of different people. We also came up with the idea for our class to have to hold an event, um, especially when um, the sophomores, I believe, had a mutual aid event every other week to give out resources for the Cleveland community. Right now we're planning on having like four vaccinations, like four vaccination days in total. So two of them are going to be just for Cleveland students because you have to get two shots. Um, and then we're hoping the one after that, which will probably be on a weekend, is going to be for like the larger Cleveland community and people living in the neighborhood. Um, so we're going to try and reach both of those communities. From what it sounds like is that uh, it's actually just going to be a walk up. So you're not going to have to sign up for anything. You can just hear about the event and show up um, when it's being held and get your vaccination. It is a personal choice. And I think that the sooner that we get um, everyone vaccinated, then we would be able to go back to school in the following fall or the next quarter. There is a lot of like misinformation out there uh, just surrounding the vaccine. And it is a personal choice whether or not you're gonna get it. Like we respect that, um, but I think the sooner everyone gets vaccinated, the sooner we're going to be able to like kind of get back to like normal, um, whatever that means. So I guess I would just encourage people to do research if they're feeling uncomfortable, but also like think critically and look at the data. 
So as of right now, we have the vaccination site set for uh, May 17th and then June 7th, but we're hoping to extend it to have um, basically like two days, so a total of four. Um, so the dates are subject to change. Seniors who are unable to make it to the cap and gown distribution can pick theirs up next Wednesday, May 19th at the next supply distribution day. For those seniors who have not ordered a gown, there's still time. Simply go online using the link below to order your package, which includes the gown, the cap, and a tassel. The price is about $74. Students should not order stoles as they are not part of the designated attire. Gowns will be available for pickup in June. Also for seniors, there will be a class meeting for the class of 2021 on Wednesday, May 19th at 1.30 p.m. during advisory. This important meeting will discuss senior checkout, virtual ceremonies, and all the important graduations. This meeting should be attended by both seniors and their parents. A link will be sent out the day before the event, so be sure to check your email. Eagles, AP exams begin June 1st. Students taking AP Spanish and AP Chinese will test in person. All other exams will be held virtually. Here is the schedule. If students have questions about AP testing, they can reach out to coordinator Jen Kakuna at the email address below. Vantage Point is shouting out the class of 2021 to highlight some of their achievements. This week, Vantage Point is shouting out Ariella Cornell. Ariella is a senior class and AISB vice president. She's been a member of the volleyball team for all four years of high school, and she is the president of the Filipino club. She has also served as an anchor on Vantage Point for the last two years. Ariella will be attending the University of Washington in the fall. She plans to major in biochemistry. If you want to recognize a member of the class of 2121, send your nominations to tinyurl.com slash CHS Senior Shoutout. Well, that's it for this episode. It's been a pleasure for us to see you from this vantage point. Eagles, the countdown continues. There is only 26 days left of school. Until next time, I'm Anna Sinchin. And I'm Silas Rainey. Stay by, Eagles and keep throwing on.